um, on this world I've been working on. Um, so this, I'll tell you where I got the idea from. I we just sat down one day, and by the way, this uh, me and my friend Karai are gonna try and build this whole lab in um, survival in the Nether. Um, there's one which is like a mob spawner, and might have to nip and creative to grab that. But this here, um, we've got. Uh, this I got this idea from watching a few um, SCP videos of, of the Minecraft mod and everything like that. Um, if you want me to, I'll show off my creative world eventually one day. It's over there. But this lab here is the main priority. I really want to show you off because I've put a lot of time into this and I hope you really enjoy it. So let's just go for it. By the way, in survival this won't be here because this will be getting built in the nether. So we have Phil. He's my, um, he's the receptionist, he's the receptionist of our MCP Foundation, which actually stands for Minecraft Creature Protected Foundation, uh, because it's, we are pretty much protecting the creatures and keeping them out of, well, protecting humans, so we're kind of protecting humans, so it's Minecraft Creature, we're kind of protecting the creatures away from humans and trying to calm them down, trying to tame them and all that stuff. But is Phil, he's, my, he's our receptionist. Uh, we have our two sets of diamond armor with shields. Uh, this is just in case any of them breach. Not like any of them probably won't. Uh, we'll start down this way, even though this won't really make sense. Um, the glass pane, the colors of the glass panes represent something. So pure white, pure like this. Just means like a normal corridor. Just mean, hardly means anything. Um... Orange and black mean prisoner, red means um, high containment, means very dangerous, green means safe, and yellow means neutral, so it's kind of dangerous but kind of not at the same time. So this is the gymnasium, uh, got a basketball, got a, um, a little two basketball nets, not really much in here. It's more of a little gymnasium I've built for the villagers to keep them healthy. More of our test subjects actually to test these creatures on. Um, so let's carry on going through. Um, this is a dinner area. This is where the staff would come and also the prisoners. By the way, Phil is not a prisoner. He's a receptionist. Um, so staff and prisoners are separated. So um, at night time, prisoners will get their food. At the daytime, staff will get theirs. Uh, go through this and this actually leads us to the cells um, we have Bobby which is our Iron Golem and then we have um, Dwayne the Rock Johnson <laughs> we have normal cells uh, cells at the bottom mean they are scheduled to be taken to get them tested oh by the way got our two guard dogs not really been given a name why don't you lot name them what we should name one um, these up here are holding cells. Uh, these aren't scheduled to be put to test subjects just yet, but they will possibly be put down there as soon as they are scheduled to be put into a test subject um, to test a certain. Um, um, we call them MCs, by the way. Um, I'm guessing let's get straight into our first MC. So our first one is going to not be the red one. It's going to be it's going to be the yellow one over here. Is yet actually no. I should start with. Um, Number one. By the way, it's just normal Minecraft creatures. So just I'll just I'll let you know. There we go. So MC number one is zombie pigmen. Um obviously these are neutral creatures, they are passive, they uh, this here will have information, but you don't have information because I can't bother to write in it. This here would uh, these obviously only attack you if you attack them that's why they're neutral so they're pretty calm pretty chill uh, you know what I mean so um, that, by the way these are spawned if um, lightning strikes a pig just quickly go down this way to show you this here they have prisoners have to go through the MC number one to get to the shower blocks and sinks and everything like that uh, but carry on right now we'll go to MC number one MC number one is magma cubes. These are yellow as well because when they are small, they don't do a damage, so they're not always dealing damage. Ooh, almost got one that kind of breached turn containment. Then um, I should really get a diamond sword and just get some of these do breach containment. Um, but they got a little lava pool, so that doesn't affect them. Um, so yeah, this is pretty much all there is. These kind of chilled out as well, like not bounce about. If I'm in survival, uh, I'll just show you. 
like they'll come after me but they can't deal damage okay yes they can i'm thinking of old magma cubes and when they couldn't deal damage right, yeah those things are really deadly all right so i might have to change that to um red so that's heavy containment but i don't know might not be that serious this one here is a red one so this is heavy containment this is mc num 666 because to get this guy in this pen would take them it would be a pain in it would be a pain in hell uh, this is with the skeleton obviously this guy is really dangerous causing effects if he hits you being very aggressive being able to you're being able to spawn the wither boss if you um, kill a few of them not hard to kill but they are hard to contain um that we just got there's a skull there the dead employee ended up killing his name was jeff he ended up getting killed but let's go to a safe one i think this one here is our only safe one we have um this is mc num three rainbow sheep these are pretty chilled out creatures they're not real they're pretty much just normal sheep but they're rainbow yeah i use that little, little i use that name tag to make them like that and pretty much yeah got that um got shears so you can shear them um i'm pretty sure if you shear them now i'm pretty sure the thing goes so i'm gonna keep that off let me know in the comments if it does go they are, we actually have two ones from here so we'll go yellow again this one yeah i don't think i put a sign up yeah i don't put a sign up um uh, where the zombies gone pretty much this is yellow this is the mob spawner because it's kind it can be really good because you can summon it oh there we go got one summoned in this has to be kind of um controlled a bit just in case if anyone tries to summon anything too serious zombies aren't that serious they're easy to take care of um this is in yellow just due to the uh just due to the mob spawner you can pretty much spawn in near enough anything so you can spawn in pigs and all that so it can be useful in certain ways but it's in yellow also due to people being able to spawn in pretty powerful creatures uh, and stuff like that. Um, let's take the red one. I can't remember if this is the last. Actually, unless this isn't the last one. This second to last. This here is soul sand. This is heavy containment due to it being soul sand, and you can use it to summon the wither boss. That's why it's got this obsidian little out thing around it and all that, just so it can't like break out as easily. I think it will break out. I don't know in my look. But this is what it's for. Got a few computers around it. Got a thing there. Just got a chest if we need to store anything in there. Um, pretty much the same old, same old. But that there is the soul sand. Come through here. Yeah, you gotta literally go all the way down. I'm pretty sure if I go to. Is it this one? Yes, it is. This one here will lead us to MC number 4. The stray, giving them a little, if you see I put like a little environment thing in for them, like the stray belongs in the snow area, so I put a, a bit of a little snow area, I'm going to do one for the husk as well, but uh, this is pretty much the stray, um, shoot if he's very dangerous, that's why he's in heavy containment, due to him if he hits you, you're going to have a bad time, um, hits you, he gives you a slowness effect, because he has those effect arrows, and pretty much very dangerous um i might have to put maybe nine golem in here just so it's contained and they won't easily just absolutely annihilate anything same as here especially this guy due to him might be pretty powerful um pretty much i think that's everything if i have a little quick look um i'm pretty sure that's everything did we go down that way yeah we did i'm gonna make another con containment unit over there which is going to be another creature but this is what we've got this is what we've got at the moment i'm really proud of this build i really like it um i'm pretty proud of it i think it's a really good build it's one of my first ever serious builds in quite a while um so i know it's not really like anything phenomenal or anything like that uh, that by the way that sign there will not be there when we're building it in the never that's just there to show people off in the creative uh but this is, I just really want to build something like this. I haven't built something like this in quite a while. Um, so I, I, it's not really amazing, but I hope you all enjoyed it. Um, if you want to, why don't you leave some suggestions in like what other creatures I could do, what other objects that are in Minecraft I could do, what I haven't thought of yet. Put those down in the comments below. 
Um, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to howl and uh, howl at that subscribe button and like button if and to join the wolf pack today. And I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye.